let's get into this one since I just shared the video on the first digital or digital currency rolling out in the Bahamas. Let's look at this article. If you are hosting a central bank digital currency, only one, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, can do it, says this report. So this report was released or this article was released today, right? Central bank digital currency. So a 44-page report commissioned by um, CPA Australia into the status of central bank digital currency development. Listen, people worldwide, while exploring blockchain candidates for hosting a central bank digital currency in the upcoming years, right? In the upcoming years, the report offers evaluation of the three most cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ether, Ethereum, and XRP. Analysis are the lack thereof for use by central banks. Now, Bitcoin's decentralized lit network and lack of oversight by banks or governments make it generally, generally unsuitable for use in the national CBD network. So we can already exclude Bitcoin, right? We knew that. We knew that Bitcoin would be the global currency and the powerhouse currency, right? For corporations, uh, big wells, institution. So Bitcoin is still, however, accepted as a medium of, ex a medium of exchange over the world and is very volatile. So lack of trust among central banks, right? So despite it not being a legal tender, Bitcoin is popular. It, it has been accepted as a medium of exchange in many places. However, it's very volatile. They need something more of a stable type coin. So now we have Ethereum, right? Bitcoin is out as the central bank's currency. And Ethereum, according to the article, suffers from many from the same pitfalls as Bitcoin when it comes to host, hosting central bank digital currency, according to the report. Despite allowing programmable money, the use of smart contract, Ethereum's decentralized in the end, the um, inability to be controlled by any state. See, this is what decentralized mean is has the inability to be, be controlled by any state, right? Any government. So that also makes it an unlikely candidate. Although I think a beer, Ethereum uh, with its smart contract and NFTs will you all outperform Bitcoin, right? We're going to see. Ethereum is like Bitcoin that is purely digital, fully decentralized outside any state control. An important distinguishing feature of Ethereum platform compared to Bitcoin blockchain is that it allows for the operation of smart contracts, therefore programmable money and payment. So let's see what this says about Ripple and XRP. Ripple and XRP Enjoy the trust of many banks as a model for CBDCs because it is highly centralized. It's based on permis um, permission network where there are only certain network codes that can validate transaction, right? As opposed to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Not my word right here in black and white. So central banks, due to how developers can control the timing and quantity, uh, Ripple allows the creation, listen, of, at this, of new currencies. And Ripple developers can decide the timing and quantity of supply in a um, similar way to current central banks' operations. They're talking about the SWIFT, right? So this report reports out Frank Central Banks has already expressed France, I'm sorry, I said France. France Central Bank has already expressed interest in exploring Ripple as a possible platform for hosting the Europe-wide CBDC. So it's faster, digital payment system, and it's financial sector. Now, you all may be asking me, right? And the article goes on to talk about Facebook Demicorn or Demicorn. 
Central banks are being forced, people, forced to keep a close eye on the ongoing development of blockchain and cryptocurrency. So with this being said, they, they are moving away from the SWIFT system. Right now, central banks operate on the SWIFT system, which is slower and is more, it costs more. XRP is fast and it's cheaper. Now, you may be saying to me, but well, Queen, Ripple and XRP, I mean, Ripple, XRP, I'm sorry, and MoneyGram ended their relationship today. Does not matter. XRP will be for the central banks. XRP will be for the central banks. MoneyGram may pick up XLM, right? XRP will be for the central bank. So what, what does this mean in simple, um, simple lamest term, right? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me share this with you as well. StreamYard, share. Let me see if this is in photos. So this, um, one of my live stream viewers emailed me this. I thought this was great information as well. It reads, a ripple of decep deception, right? The co-founder of Ripple and Stellar, which is XLM, has family ties connecting him to the Federal Reserve and the United Nations. In 2014, he moved on from Ripple to create Stellar, giving the illusion that the two organizations were separate entities. Ripple and Stellar, Ripple and Stellar are like brother and sister, each providing some value in the new world financial system. Ripple is said to be a cross-border payment provider with the use of XRP for a short period of time. The world will not need a cross-border payment when they are using XLM. Stellar will be the world reserve currency. While XRP, people check this out, will be a store of value. XLM will be for digital silver and XRP will be for digital gold. Now, do I believe Stella will be digital silver in the world reserve currency? Yes, I do. Because if you look at the Phoenix uh, magazine, 1988 magazine, let me pull up that image. A lot of people were saying that this is Bitcoin. Um, to me, in my opinion, this is not bit Bitcoin, right? Magazine, the, the end of paper money. The Rothschilds, if you don't know, they predicted this 30 years ago. Right now, the, the Rothschilds, Rockefellers, et cetera, et cetera, are in control of the Federal Reserve currency. A lot of people think that the Federal Reserve is bank. The Federal Reserve is not, they're not bank. They're not government. They're not federal and they have no reserves. People... Understand this if you don't understand it, nothing else. This is how I teach children about money. In 1971, the dollar became dead, meaning it was unpegged from gold. It was no longer attached to money, which is gold and silver. So in, what happened is in 1971, everybody began to use debt to make purchases. Everyone. So in order to make a purchase purchase or to get an exchange, whether it's for groceries or gas, you were using debt when you used the dollar. It was not, those transactions were not performed by money. Constitution, the only thing that's money is gold and silver. Those are the only forms of money, right, that can discharge a debt what you're doing now with cash is you are making a payment on a debt for a service or a good that you need 
with debt. So this is why when Dave Ramsey teaches to get out of debt and he only defines debt as money borrowed from the bank or with credit cards, no, cash is debt as well. So he could have put it this way to turn debt, whether it be cash, credit cards, or the bank's money or a loan into assets, but he doesn't want to teach you the truth when it comes to financial education because your suppression makes him a multimillionaire. Dave Ramsey is worth $200 million, right? So now you have this 1988 prediction for a new world currency that set a global currency and I don't know why, but a lot of people took this coin on this Phoenix bird and said, it's, it's, this looks just like Stellar XLM, right? So for people that may be new, I'm going to show you what the Stellar XLM logo looks like. So what does that mean, Queen? Um, that XRP will be a store of value. That mean it will be as good as gold, central banks, when this currency system resets, their currency that they use to transfer money will have to be backed by gold under the NASARA, the National Economic Security and Reformation Act, or global, right? Because in 1933, government confiscated the citizens' gold, and now... Right, we have to, because people are protesting against that, that it was illegal. We have to now issue currency that is not debt based, meaning that your your dollar is not backed by anything, but it is 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 moving from debt based money to debt free money. Meaning now it will be digit even digitally. Right. Backed by gold. And so the accounting global wide of see gold and silver is infinite. Right. So the accounting global wide for gold and silver has begun and take place. So that's the stellar logo. So in my opinion, that's what that Phoenix coin look like. So XLM would be silver. Right. XRP will be the store value, will be gold. XLM will be the world reserve currency. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, what does that do for Bitcoin? I thought Bitcoin was going to be the world reserve currency. Bitcoin will be the global currency, but it's going to be for the elite, the big businesses, the big corporations. XLM will be the people's money. XRP will be the central bank's digital currency's money as well. So let me look at my comments real quick. Um, Sean says Cardano will be fully decentralized by the end of the month. That is true, but Cardano will be used for real estate and the medical field mainly. So you have to know these utilities and use cases. Um, the founder of Cardano is also the... Um, uh, I'm trying to think, think, think are associated with the Ask the Doctor app that you have online. And Cardano is connected with AGI, Singularity Net, for the artificial intelligence. So all of them have different use cases. That's why XLM is with Acon City already, right? So it's going to be the world reserve currency or, or the technology that you know is pushing these other currencies, right? 